Welcome to another episode of Tech Straight. As you can see, I've got a gallon of water in a jug here. We're going to do another dunk test on a device. Uh, this time, we're going to do the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, these videos are being filmed with a Note 3. And uh, can't wait to see what the Note 4 is going to be like. There's a lot of talk that it'll probably be this fall. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this S5, we're just going to turn on the stopwatch and uh, make sure that we know it's running. And also one thing that you want to make sure of um, with your S5, if you're going to have it in water, um, on the back, the, the back panel or the back cover actually has a seal that runs around the battery compartment. If you take a look, uh, you can see it right here. It goes all the way around uh, the electronic part of the phone. Um, and you can see that there's definitely some stuff in there you want to make sure it's waterproof. So the key to it is making sure that that back is snapped completely all the way around. You don't want to um, leave any little crevices popped open on there. You want to make sure. It sure doesn't hurt to go all the way around it a few times. Squeeze the edges. Uh, make sure that it's closed. So if you're really active with your device and you want to make sure that it's always waterproof, make sure the back's on it. I have noticed that a couple times that I've taken the back off and took the battery out, that it actually came up with a little message reminding me to make sure that the back is on the phone uh, securely so that it's waterproof. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so what we're going to do is also take a look at the charging port right here. Um, you see how that actually opens up and has a seal on it as well. So the two main things, make sure that your charging port is closed. So there we have it, nice and secure, all the way down, don't want to have it kind of sticking up or anything. Uh, the back is completely closed, and so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and start up the device stopwatch. Um, so there we go. One thing I know about um, the water is it does tend to mess with your touch screen while the water's on it, so like if you don't close your screen out, it is going to um, kind of wig it out a little bit, you know, just while it's in the water, you know, kind of make some applications pop up and uh, stuff like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and close the screen and are you nervous? I almost am, but I'm betting it's covered under warranty. <laughs> So here we go. Got the Note 3, I mean the, the S5 down in the water. All right, so we'll just let that sit in there for a minute and see how it goes. So we're not gonna go for a big length of time and go through all the trouble of, you know, speeding up the video and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've actually watched some videos where they did that. It was pretty neat. Uh, I actually watched one guy run his through the washing machine. So definitely holds up to quite a bit. Um, you know, but you can see in this video the top of the jar. Uh, you can see, you know, me pulling it out of there. So here you go. Wow, the water just beads right off of that touch screen. Pretty sweet. So we'll just kind of show, you know, that we're still dripping wet here with water. Uh, see if any pours out of the headphone jack. <laughs> and uh, there we have it. So there it's, uh, you know, that's definitely waterproof, no question about it. You know, that's pretty sweet. That is definitely a good, good feature. So let's check out 
what happens when we leave the touch screen off. See if it kind of wigs out a little bit. So there you can see it, it looks like it's not quite as sensitive uh, to the water as far as the touch screen as the Samsung Gear 2 watch was. When I had the watch down in the water it was kind of, you know, clicking things on the screen on its own. Uh, you can check that video out. It's in my list of videos on my channel. And you can always check us out on Facebook. Just All you have to do is just type in techstraight.com. That's T-E-K straight.com. And it will take you right to our Facebook page. And uh, definitely check that out appreciate it if you give us a like on that page we just opened it up and started that and also like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and if you have any questions as always you can send them to me via email if you prefer at techstraighttv at gmail.com or you can leave your questions or comments in the comment section below the video and that's pretty much it so Let's check it out and see if it'll actually stop it while I'm in the water. See the 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 water kind of makes it to where the touch screen doesn't really you know respond. So I could see where it might be kind of hard to take some pictures underwater unless you actually um, you know set up one of those apps uh, to you know create a a button shortcut for your for your picture snapping which that might actually already be a feature in there would not surprise me. I just got this out of the box today so haven't had a chance to see um, what all the new features are but uh, definitely pretty cool. Um, you could probably hit the home key on it. Yep. So you see it's it's definitely you know responsive to to the water as far as the touch screen and uh, so it's pretty neat, you know. So let's go ahead and we will take it out. So yes, I already survived a couple dunks. And so you can see the, the touch screen is, you know, it's working. It's just that while it's in the water, it's kind of, you know, wigs it out a little bit. There you can see the gear manager for uh, the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch. Pretty sweet. Um, all kinds of neat features and stuff with this. And got some Facebook messages popping up. And that's it. Take a look at that stopwatch. Still running. So that's it for the Samsung Galaxy S5 floating around in water. Pretty neat. So holds up pretty good. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to Tech Straight once again. Hit us up on Facebook, like and subscribe, and more videos to come. And feel free to share our videos anytime. Put a link to our videos on Facebook. You know, no problem there, we don't mind a bit, we appreciate it. Alright, so until next time, remember, keep the text straight.